In this video, I want to show you the downside of being shredded and why it sucks. To have six pack abs is cool and to realize there may be side effects along the way. I'm going to share my experience from being two weeks out from a men's physique show and how losing body fat to this extreme, well yeah, you guessed it, it's nuts. So the first thing that comes to my mind when it comes down to getting shredded and why it sucks sometimes, there's a lot of good things about getting shredded, but most of the time our brain will kind of, you know, gravitate towards the negative side of things first. You know what guys, I'm gonna be honest with you. It's, it's the hunger aspect of it. So when I was younger, when I first started working out, I would do this stupid thing. It was so stupid. I, I would put hot sauce on my tongue, let it sit, until I was like, oh my gosh, it's so hot, and then chug water because I thought it was smart because, oh, I just fill myself up with water, right? Just go to fill, fill up my belly with water. So stupid, don't judge me for it. And that's one thing, like, it, it was, there was no logical reasoning behind it. <laughs> so when you're hungry, it increases the hormone ghrelin, okay? So especially what I find with myself too is when I drop weight pretty quickly and I drop my body fat percentage, it really, like, it, it freaks me up quickly. So there's sometimes, like, you might be in the same situation too, where sometimes you're trying to lose a few pounds and you know you should be eating less calories than you need. So what, what I find is, I, I'm guilty of this, sometimes I just go on a full binge, like I'm eating food left, right, and center. The reason why this is happening is because when you're hungry, the ghrelin hormone goes up, but also it's because you have a lower level of leptin, and leptin is like the, is, is the hormone that tells your body, hey, I'm full, right? So when you're not eating enough, it causes low levels of leptin. So how do I combat this, right? How do we combat this? How do I do this when I'm doing a crazy shred? Like I'm two weeks out from my competition right now, right? I always talk about this as I have high volume foods or meals. So what I mean by high volume, I'm eating a lot of like low calorie dense vegetables, maybe adding a lot of fruit, just tons of vegetables, filling myself up that way. Um, and what I, what I tend to do now, which is kind of interesting, is when I eat you guys, when I'm eating a meal, what I tend to do is like, it's obviously not enough to fill me up because I'm hungry and I'm summer shredding, I'm getting really, really shredded, but keep this in mind, when you eat a meal, give yourself like 15 or 20 minutes, let the food digest, let leptin increase, let that hormone increase, telling your body that you're full, because sometimes when you binge eat, you just keep eating and eating and eating and eating, you're not allowing that leptin to build up over time. So what I tend to do is I'll eat and I'll probably, for you know, two weeks out from a competition, I'm like, oh, I'm still pretty hungry, but I'll allow, I'll allow my body to digest the food, take a moment, and most of the time, I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm getting pretty full, right? So I allow that to happen, and, and something that I've been focusing on this prep um, that I haven't really thought about in the past is usually sometimes when I am hungry, it might just be the body signaling to me that uh, there's I have a deficient in, let's say, micronutrients. Right, so macronutrients are protein, carbs, and fats, but micronutrients might be something like uh, zinc or magnesium. So I'll eat more foods that are higher in zinc and magnesium, like for example, green veggies, like just loading myself up, loading myself up with those high, um, those low to calorie dense, high volume foods, right? So that's always helped me with when fighting off hunger, right? It's just something that your body's not used to and you have to get down to that level eventually. And so hunger, <laughs> Hunger's a bitch, but it, it's it's something like you. Well, why would you live life that way? I was just, I'm doing it for a competition. But generally, if you're just trying to lose a few pounds, like yeah, you might be hungry every now and then. But just stick to the general rule of thumb. Give yourself some time to digest the food, let leptin build up, and eat high volume food. All right, I have to go do some cardio now. Well, I forgot to show the calories. But I am melting. 600 calories. Done. Mmm. Got some good protein, egg whites, two full eggs, two strips of turkey bacon. And it's 11.30 a.m. right now. And I'm about to get into the second point why shredding, being the shredded sucks. But I'm so hungry, I gotta eat this real quick. I'm gonna jump into the next point here. What the heck's going on over here? Nice pineapples. No, really, nice pineapples. Get copyrighted for the music though. Yeah. Nice shot. I just finished my meal and oh, back from some golf 
It was a good time with some friends. Second side effect I wanna talk about is low libido. This is something that you'll see on YouTube, a lot of guys will be like, I'm shredded. And then their girlfriend's standing beside them and they look down their pants or something weird because they can't get, you know, something, something standing up. But for me, uh, I guess I would say from a sex drive standpoint, like I don't really, I'm not really affected by it. I guess it just depends on the person, but I think, I mean, this time going around, my second time competing, you guys, I feel like this is very tough on me. I don't know why, maybe it's just a mental thing standpoint, but essentially with when you, when you have low libido, like you're just gonna get low libido, obviously when you're freaking around with your hormones, you're not eating as much. So what I've experienced in the past is if the libido feels low and the sex drives out through the window, you just add in a little, a little bit more fat to the diet and a fat will just essentially, like you know how you hear people say like, oh, you don't, I eat, maybe this is not a thing, but I eat oysters and I get horny. It's something weird, right? Cause it's high in fat. Now, usually with low levels of fat consumption, it will affect the endocrine system and that helps regulate the body's hormones. So that's what happens with some, you know, some people, not really with me at times, maybe it's happening right now, I don't know, but yeah, I just tend to, if you are kind of getting really, really lean and that's something you wanna try, or just in general, if you feel like your sex drive is just going down from trying to lose a little bit of weight or your hormones are shifting around, add a little bit more fat in your diet, then you can move back into the bedroom, so. It's five o'clock now, I've gotta do some more stuff. I'm gonna share two more points. Can you guess what it is? How's your carbs? Uh-uh. Good? Mm, look at that sandwich. Oh. Feeling pretty hungry. So we're gonna start eating some dinner soon. But overall, what happens when you're hungry and you don't eat quick enough, you get hangry. And that's one of the side effects. We uh, we were out with a few friends last night and Sammy goes, yeah, Kiefer is, um, he gets kind of like short, short with me a little bit. And they were all laughing and stuff. And it's because, yeah, man, I'm, I'm hungry half the time. I'm, or, I'm hangry, like it, it becomes hanger. But essentially when you start eating less food over time, there's less, less nutrients in the bloodstream and then Essentially, the blood glucose level starts to go down and your brain goes, oh shit, and starts to react and differently. For me, like I tend to like slur a lot <laughs> on my words. And, uh, you know, I don't know. It's, it's like I'm a drunk guy sometimes, but hangry is just like, you know, that's why I kind of tr try to save my meals for a little bit later in the day. I always want to be firing on my metabolism. Something how I, I try to cope with it is just to be more mindful about everything. Just like keep myself aware, like, you know, when there's something that annoys me because I'm hangry, I just have to refocus and tell myself, it's okay, Kiefer. I'll get through this. Right, babe? Mm-hmm. Look at that meal prep. Extra lean ground turkey, some vegetables, chicken, Pineapple, some white rice, quinoa. Mm. Good for a few days for sure. Gonna cook up this dinner here. And the last point I wanna touch on, just wanted to kind of make this simple video and talk about like why it sucks being this lean. And I do not understand how some people uh, year round stay this lean. I mean, I measured in at 8.9% body fat right now, which is really good, I'd say. And I know that you can, people sustain that type of body fat, but it's so hard. And the last point I always struggle with is just overall fatigue and weakness. And this is gonna going to happen if you are going lean to the extra mile where you really wanna see a six pack abs. Overall, if you're just looking to lose a little bit of fat and you know look a little bit better, I mean, you might experience a little bit of fatigue and, and uh, weakness, but to the level that I'm going at is insane. And just knowing that decreasing the carbohydrates for a long period of time overall just depletes the glycogen levels. Glycogen meaning like, ah oh man, I'm just like, I'm not, I'm not full. Like when I go to the gym, I don't have any energy. Um, and I gotta replenish my glycogen levels by eating carbohydrates because carbohydrates is stored as glycogen and so, in the body. And so the, you, I might not look as full when I go to the gym or I kind of look like weak and stringy. So one way I kind of like to fight that off is just by making sure I'm eating enough carbs before my workout and after my workout. So again, I'm saving my carbohydrates since it's so low and that's like one of the side effects is just like fatigue and weakness. Since it's so low, I'm just saving them for the rest of the day or and 
you know, later into the day, if I work out later in the day, I'll just eat my carbohydrates before and after. And so like right now I'm eating like 50 grams of carbs or 40 grams being two weeks out, which is insane. So anyways, uh, it's a tough battle, but these are all the things that I just experience <laughs> from day to day going, doing summer shredding. And sometimes I'm like, my barber even said to me, guys like you that do this stuff are kind of like effed in the head. I'm like, yeah. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Anyways, YouTube, thank you so much for watching this video. Thanks for watching, and uh, thanks for just kind of, you know, watching the journey of me you know, competing and kind of documenting the series. It's gonna be fun to look back one day and just like look at all these videos and like remember how hard it was. So, anyways, if you want to ever get super lean, like just keep keep in mind that it's not the healthiest thing to do. If you're competing, then do it. But um, you know, you can still achieve six pack abs and stay lean enough year round and do intuitive eating and. Uh, hopefully you can take these points home and, and follow it if you decide to do it yourself. So anyways, I gotta edit this video now. Peace out.